Okay, we are taking a look at problems in section 6.4 that deals with work. So the first problem we'll take a look at says, how much work is done in joules when a weightlifter lifts 220 kilograms from 1.5 meters to 2 meters above the ground? And here we are going to use 9.8 meters per second square for the gravitational constant. So first, let's just quickly write down um, the formulas that we will need. First off, we know that work is equal to force times distance. But furthermore, for this problem, we also need to define that force is equal to mass times the um, acceleration. So what that then breaks down to for our problem is that work will be equal to force times distance, but that force needs to be calculated. So that's going to be the mass times acceleration times distance. All right, so for my problem, um, the mass, that's the 220 kilograms. All right, the accelerational constant due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then the total distance that it is being lifted. So the problem says it's being lifted from 1.5 meters to 2 meters. So that's a total of 0 0.5 meters. Now I'm going to quickly grab my calculator and see what this is equal to. 220 times 9.8 times 0 0.5 is equal to 1,078. And now this is going to be measured in Newton meters, which by any other term is just going to be joules. So Newton meters and joules is the same thing. You can use either. All right, so this the, the next problem here wants us to compute the work done in foot pounds this time in hoisting a 1,300 pound grand piano from the ground up to the third floor, 30 feet above ground. So the uh, 1,300 pounds that's given here, that is already a force. I do not need to convert that. So here we will just use work is equal to force times distance. And so that force, like I said, is the 1,300 pounds. And the total distance here is 30 feet. And so here I get a value of 39,000. And this is measured in foot pounds. All right, the next problem <clears throat> is asking uh, the following. Shown is the graph of a force function in Newtons that increases to its maximum value and that remains constant. How much work is done, in joules again, by the force moving an object a distance of 40 meters? So I will remind you for this problem, the formula that we will use here is that work is simply equal to the integral of a known force function. So if we have a force function, we will integrate that over the bound given, and that will provide the work. So for this problem, they did not give the actual function, but they gave a graph that represented the function. So here, this would be equal to the integral going from 0 to 40 of whatever this force function is. Um, but we can calculate, actually, what this integral is going to be equal to. So if I calculate geometrically, um, I will calculate this triangular piece over here first. So this triangular piece is going to be, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. So we know that's going to be half times the base times the perpendicular height. So this piece will be half times 20, and then the height is 18. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jot that down here. So that will be 1 half times 20 times 18 plus... And then this second region over here, this region that's formed here, uh, 
uh, can be calculated. Again, this, so this is just a rectangular region, so from 20 to 40, so this is just going to be the width times the height, and so this will just be 20 times, and it also has a height of 18. So 20 by 18. All right, when I calculate here, I get a total area of 540. And again, you can give your answer here in Newton meters, or if you prefer, you can give your answer in joules.